Hi guys, welcome to lesson four of English. Uh, we're going to today we're going to be exploring cohesive devices and language choices in advertisements. This lesson again is probably going to be quite long. There is a lot involved in this unit of work, so please bear with me. These lessons will be long, but it is very very important that you do every aspect of them in order to benefit yourselves. In completing your assessments so the first thing I'm going to get you to do is go ahead and watch either the linked video in your OneNote it's called video 2 cohesive devices or you can watch the video if you scroll down to page 2 of your PDF I really want you to watch one of the two videos please go and do that now so what I want you to do is put me on pause and watch them and resume when you are ready okay hopefully that means you've watched either of those two videos so you would understand that Cohesion is, um, I guess, the relationship that binds different parts of an advertisement together and give it unity. And cohesion is achieved through using repetition. So obviously repetition is the um, repetition of ideas, words, phrases, um, replacing words with synonyms. So instead of saying stunning, you could say beautiful. Um, and omitting words. For example, omitting a word from the phrase presence for the future could be give gifts uh, give presents to the future so taking out words that are unnecessary so what we're going to do now is in question two i would like you to tell me the three different cohesive devices that are used in advertisements and in presentation in the presentation so i've just said them there's a big clue and they're written just there on your sheet so the three Cohesive devices are repetition, replacing words with synonyms, and omitting words. So they're just above you in the yellow box on the PDF. Now what we're going to do is move on down to question three. How does the use of cohe cohesive devices in, adv in advertisements help to influence the target audience? Now, your answer may be long and I would like you to consider replacement words repetition or omitting words I'm going to give you very quickly the three things I wrote down you can write these or you can write your own so go ahead and put me on pause or you can listen to my answers so the first one I've talked about is replacing words with synonyms can give the audience a clearer picture of the product being advertised and prevent unnecessary awkward repetition. So if you're somebody who is um, constantly using eco or environmental, you might want to think of other words that have a very similar meaning. So then you're not repeating words unnecessarily and your advertisement might become repetitious, awkward um, and not very impactful. The second is using repetition intentionally. Um, in the right places can help us remember the, the advertisement and the product because the key ideas have been emphasised. Um, this will make us want to buy the product. So if you're going to use repetition and you use it right in the correct places, it can be um, very effective in emphasising the product, the message, the theme, um, so it can be used correctly as well. Don't forget that. And the last one is omitting words can create shorter, sharper sentences and phrases so that the text flows better. We can read the advertisement more quickly and therefore be more persuaded to buy the product. So for example, omitting words, that to me is very much linked to your um, double dunk advertisement. It's very short. It's very sharp. They omit lots of words. There's very, very little um, replacement of words. They don't really need to use synonyms. Um, and they do, they do use repetition quite successfully. So for me, your double dunk advertisement covers two of those quite well. Um, so let's lead in to question four. Explain which of the three advertisements you believe is the most effective in its use of cohesive devices to persuade an audience. So you've got to think about the videos you just watched. So for me, the double dunk advertisement 
um, is most effective in its, in its use of cohesive devices because there isn't much text and that's why it is persuasive. Um, the product's target audience doesn't want to read very much, so they've got very little text to read. The limited number of cohesive devices used um, <clears throat> uh, has been chosen on purpose because of, I guess, the purpose of the, uh, of the advertisement. The repetition is short, sharp, and to the point, and unnecessary words have been omitted because they've repeated a particular phrase, and that particular phrase is be my best and do your best. So that phrase has been repeated a couple of times. That is on purpose. That is um, for its persuasive effect. Um, and the lack of the lack of text um, meets the target audience, you know. The images do the work. And that is quite an effective advertisement. Um, I would also say, on the other hand, on the other hand, the NBT advertisement is the most effective because it uses cohesive devices very effectively. It uses repetition. It uses replacement words. It omits words to produce a clever and well-balanced text that ties both the product and the advertisement neatly together. And it I guess, persuades the target audience to buy the product. So it does all of those things quite clever. And obviously, you've got very, two very different advertisements there, but both clearly show the use of cohesive devices to tie it together. All right, look at advertisement one and demonstrate the one example of cohesion. So what I want you to do now is go and have a look at the... Advertisement number one. So, so if you scroll down to question five, look at this advertisement. Um, it demonstrates one example of cohesion quite well. What you need to do is name other names that are given to flies in this advertisement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly read through it and you're going to list the names given to flies. So they're using replacing, um, replacing words with synonyms. So I'm going to read it from beginning to end. Are flies bugging you? You need Banwell 2000. Those days of irritating insects are over. Those pesky pets don't stand a chance against the Banwell 2000. It will solve the problem of the airborne annoyances once and for all. Just one squeeze of the trigger and those bothersome bugs are history. It's the fastest, safest, chemical freeway to rid your house of cursed critters. Order now by calling blank, 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 and there is your contact info. So what are the names given to the flies? You have irritating insects, pesky pests, airborne annoyances, bothersome bugs, and cursed critters. Are these names positive or negative? Well, they're negative. That is because it's talking about ridding themselves of flies. Nobody enjoys flies, so therefore they're given in very negative connotations. All right, tick the cohesive device that you think this advertisement shows. So you're going to tick one of these. Repeating keywords throughout the text to give emphasis. Replacing words with synonyms to show meaning and evaluative language. Omitting words that aren't required to make the text tighter. You're going to look for the second one. They've replaced words with synonyms to show meaning and evaluative language. So evaluative language is used. That is hence the negative The negative language is used in, on purpose to show a judgment or an opinion or a feeling based upon the annoying fly. So they're trying to um, read. Next we're looking at similar advertisement but different language used. So I'm going to read the advertisement. Are the flies bugging you? Do you need to kill flies and other pests with maximum impact and minimum cost? Then you need the BAMWOW 2000. It's the only pest control method you will ever need. No chemicals, no fuss, no problem. Order now by calling whatever and visit www.blank or order today and you will receive one free. <clears throat> okay, write down any words that appear more than once in the advertisement. <clears throat> so words like Banwell 2000, 
uh, flies, pests, no, and order. So those are words that are repeated more than once. Give and give one reason why these words may have been repeated. Well, the only reason why you would need to repeat words is to emphasize the importance of those words. So they want you to remember the brand name, Banwell 2000, therefore they say it numerous times. Um, they want you to associate Banwell 2000 with flies. That is the purpose of Banwell 2000. And order, they want you to remember how to order, where to order, therefore they're being repeated. So they want you, they want to emphasize the purpose of the product, where you can get the product and what the product is. Okay, if we go to C, tick the cohesive device that you think is in this advertisement. I'm hoping that you guys can do that by now. Are we repeating keywords, replacing words with synonyms, or omitting words? Hopefully you are correct. We are repeating keywords. All right. Now, if we move on to look at advertisement number three. Again, same brand, same advertisement, different wording. So let's have a look. Are flies bugging you? You need BAMWOW 2000. BAMWOW 2000. Want a fly-free home? Want a chemical-free alternative to your pest problem? Want the cheapest pest, con pest control option on the market? BAMWOW 2000 is the answer. So choose any two of the following statements and rewrite them as complete sentences. So you want to turn these statements into a sentence so want a fly free home if you were going to ask somebody that what would you say you would say do you want a fly free home there we go the next one do you say want a chemical free alternative to your pest control problem no that's kind of an incomplete sentence so you would say do you want the next one as well do you want is the next one last one bamwow 2000 is the answer how can you come up with the first half of that for that statement? If you want all of these things, then BAMWOW 2000 is the answer for you. So make sure you're writing those down, guys. All right, the next one is why do you think they have not been written as complete sentences in the advertisement? Now, the whole idea of omitting words is to make the text tighter, to the point, easy to read, so you're cutting down on unnecessary words. So it's quicker to read and it still makes sense. Those, that's something that I'd be quite happy for you to write. Moving on to the next one. Has any of the meaning been lost because the complete sentences have not been used? No. Obviously, they're not going to put in um, illegible sentences or sentences that don't make sense. The meaning is still there. They're just using less words to convey the same meaning. So tick the cohesive device that you think this advertisement shows. Is it repeating keywords, replacing words with synonyms, or omitting words? It's the last one, guys. So it's omitting words that aren't really necessary um, while still maintaining the same meaning. Okay, what we're going to do now is you're going to scroll down to number eight. So I'm just putting up my... Uh, my notes. Okay, we're going to have a look at the show your eco flag advertisement. We're going to look at the, um, we're going to find each of the examples of cohesive devices in the boxes around the outside. Okay, so what word has been repeated to show that the product is good for the environment? So in order to show something's good, let's look for a um, positive evaluative language. What word has been used to show that they are good? And it's been repeated. So have a quick look to see if you can find it. Also, what word has the word thread replaced? So the word has been replaced. You could say, do I say, oh, these are great threads that I'm wearing. Think about it. What word has it been replaced by, with? Um, what word has been repeated because it is part of the company's name? Think about that one, guys. What word has been omitted that normally occurs in front of the word friendly to show that something is good for the environment? So 
think of that one because it uses it in the title. So pause and complete this activity and then resume when you've finished it. It's literally a sentence, uh, a word in each box. So go ahead and do that now. It should take you one minute. Go. All right. What word has been repeated to show that the product is good for the environment? The word is friendly. What word has the word threads replaced? The words clothes. So you could say friendly clothes, but instead they've tried to be a bit trendy and use the word threads. What word has been repeated because it is part of the company name? Thing. The word thing has been repeated. All right, so if we go to what word has been omitted that normally occurs in front of the word friendly to show that something is good for the environment. So it was used at the very beginning of the advertisement, show your eco flag. The word is eco. Usually if you say eco friendly, that means something is good for the environment. So if you got those right, good job, guys, because guess what? We are done for today. So please remember what cohesive devices are. So cohesive devices are techniques used to bind parts of an advertisement together. They include things like replacing words with synonyms, omitting words, so keeping out unnecessary language, and repeating words, so repetition. Used well is very, very effective. So please remember those because we will refer back to cohesive devices in the future. But for today, thanks for joining me and I will see you tomorrow, guys.